they came on the first day of January and they did not stop burning and shooting and hanging and lynching until January the 7th. It's a story that's rarely talked about, but it needs to be told. A dark moment in our state's history. The town of Rosewood was a small, predominantly black community not too far from Gainesville. It was destroyed at the hands of an angry racist mob. All that's left, they're descendants who continue to tell their story. We were entrepreneurs. We had businesses. We had three churches in Rosewood. I mean, and this is in the, the night, early 1900s. Rosewood is a part of Ebony Pickett's family history. She never lived there, but she can tell you all about it through stories handed down through five generations. Everybody's lawns was manicured and there was roses all around. And it was almost like this picture perfect place. That picture shattered on New Year's Day 1923 when a mob of white men invaded Rosewood, burning homes and churches and shooting people as they fled. They came on the first day of January and they did not stop burning and shooting and hanging and lynching until January the 7th. Pickett remembers being a young girl at family reunions and listening to the stories from the mouths of survivors. When I would see the horror on their face and then they would begin to wail and cry and, you know, console each other. And it was like so emotional, you know, and it, it was such a vivid picture because this wasn't just something I was reading in a book. 1923. The black town of Rosewood was a land of opportunity. In 1997, Warner Brothers produced a movie about the town's history, bringing what happened on that tragic day to the big screen. The film, based on accounts at the time of what started the attack, allegations from a white woman in the neighboring community of Sumner that a black man had assaulted her. Pickett disputes that narrative. She says family members told her it was actually a white man who assaulted the white woman. Pickett's relative, Sarah Carrier, known as Aunt Sarah, was there. And Aunt Sarah had been at her home that day, as well as with her granddaughter, Philomena. So both of them witnessed the white man that actually came into their home um, that she was with. Aunt Sarah told the mob it was not true, but they didn't take her word. She would eventually be killed in the massacre. These were my actual family members that was there and had remembered everything they had gone through and they shared it with us but they told us we could not tell anyone for fear that you know the white mob would come back and kill them 98 years later their stories are still being told so that we may remember and never forget and eight people died during the rosewood massacre six were black two were white in 1994, Florida provided financial compensation to some of the Rosewood survivors, but family members tell me it's impossible to measure the human cost of what happened on January 1st and nothing in the world that can compensate for it.